What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we have 10 of the biggest mistakes you can make in Idle Heroes. I know I have personally made almost every single one of these when I first started the game, so hopefully I can share some wisdom, some uh, bad experiences that I've done personally. So hopefully you guys don't make it. Some of you probably have done the same exact thing, so let me know in the comments if it's something you've done, but let's jump into the top 10 of bad mistakes to make in idle heroes so starting out this list is the blacksmith the forge whatever you want to call it a lot of people that are new to this game make the big mistake i know i did in taking all of these low tier rewards and wasting so much gold just forging the entire stack of them Oh my goodness, I cannot believe how much gold I've spent probably upgrading these purple and green versions, even the red ones, trying to get maxed out. It really isn't worth it unless you have just ridiculous amounts of gold, even at 600 million on my main account. It is not worth it. Honestly, if you are going to try to upgrade and get some good six star gear, I would probably start with the last, the four star red gear. But optimally, I would start crafting the legendary ones, the orange ones, and then keep crafting all these up to get the gear that you need. Otherwise, you are just going to really kill yourself in gold. What you should be doing, you should be keeping a stack of these low tier green ones so that every single day for your daily, you can craft three of them for very, very inexpensive amounts of gold. Next up, we have the creation circle. So I see a lot of people not doing very smart things with their creation circle. I know I didn't early on in the game. Granted, there are a lot better functionalities since, you know, since a lot of us started the game. But if you are new to the game, make sure you're saving your fusions up for your monthly events. So uh, one thing I always recommend for the creation circle is save up your four star shards the entire month. And then when your monthly resets happens, come in here, get all of your fusions done. Make sure you can craft all your heroes, but definitely save up those four stars and don't just constantly use them unless you need them to complete this event right here. I see a ton of new players making this big mistake. And is that that's pretty much early game. They don't save their profit orbs. They improperly use their branch swaps. One big thing that I see is new players will just second they get a profit orb, they will come in and throw it in any random faction that they want. You need to save up for events, guys. You need to get about 80 before you even do any profit orbs. I know it know you want to spend your resources but you got to save it up and one big thing is never 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 put orbs in light and dark unless you need it to finish the heroic miracle that is the only exception and don't do what i have done in the past <sighs> young barry has actually done it way back way back that he would actually replace four star heroes here for 20 branches a swap because he needed them for specific five-star creations in the creation circle. Now, granted, you don't need them anymore, but please never, never swap four-star heroes. Next up, we have the heroic summoning circle. Ooh, again, once again, guys, I know I saw a lot of you guys get those 40 heroic scrolls for free for the month of July with the CD key code, and you instantly use them don't do that never ever ever do heroic summons outside a heroic summon event because during these special weeks the special weeks where we have a new hero coming out with brand new rewards all five stars are a double chance in the heroic summoning circle that means a lot more hero copies a lot more five star food definitely save up and at the very least i mean if you're not going to be if you're early game you're not saving those 2000 scrolls to do a full completion at the summoning circle i would say at least save up one to 200 and then do those so you get those extra profit orbs from the event or at the very least save up to that magic i think it's 300 scroll number so you can get some soul symbols in case you ever need to regress or replace a hero 
The first monster you pick as a new hero is very, very important because it's going to influence so much of your game. And when you rebirth a hero, uh, a monster, you do not get the gold consumed back, which is very big for new players. Gold is going to be one of those things that really, really constrains your account and where you can go. But not building the Phoenix first, in my opinion, is one of the biggest mistakes you can make. Yes, there are other options that are great, like possibly the Wolf. The Deer is amazing for PvP. But the Phoenix pet is what you need to maximize your broken spaces, your sea land, everything. The Burn is absolutely amazing. It gives you a little bit of a heal. And you definitely need to make sure you max out the attack and HP runes before ever touching the speed rune on your pet. Next up is the marketplace, the shop in game. I made a lot of mistakes early game. Want to share my experiences and make sure you don't do the same as well. There's a lot of things in the shop you should not buy. Even if you're whaling early game, there's a lot you should not buy. The best buy here is going to be the profit orbs. Definitely grab it all the time if you can afford it. If you have the monthly cards, if you have the gem income, early and mid game players should always be buying a daily profit orb if they can afford it. Now, heroic scrolls, that's something for people more in the mid, late, and end game that they're saving up for that special hero once a year. Beyond that, it's not a great value for most people. Early game, buying these wishing coins daily can be amazing for the resources, for the artifact fodder. It's really, really good, but definitely, definitely stay away from the profit blessings and the super wishing coins. Definitely buy arena tickets every single day and make sure you are buying the four star shards for gold as well. The three stars are good, a good value at 300,000 gold a piece, but if you are very early game, that might be a little too rich gold wise that you can afford. A lot of us aren't necessarily needing them anymore since we have the special scratch off events that seem to come around once a year, but it is good. Never, never, never buy any of the three or four stars for gems. Promotion stones for gold is a very good deal if you need it, but if you are a free to play or low spender, it is not needed whatsoever. And yeah, honestly, just about everything in the shop is just not that worth it or necessary. One big thing I see is a lot of people don't know about the scrolls and your quest system so what you want to be doing every day if you can afford it gem wise is you want to be refreshing this right here when you have extra quests just sitting here you want to refresh these until you can get four five six and seven star quest it is very worth your value the things you get out of here are very very good especially those seven star quests, which we don't have any just now, but they give out lots of things. The six stars are great as well. They do need to rework this system. I will say that much, but it is much, much, much better to refresh these and get your quest done on a monthly basis to finish it up, get those profit orbs from the monthly and have a blast. Next up is the Celestial Island. There's a lot of new features here, but there's one big thing that a lot of newer players with lower power heroes make, and that is this watchtower right here. So every two levels that you level it up, your enemies in the expedition become stronger. So the one big thing you need to make sure you do is just don't over level your watchtower for your power. So a lot of people that don't have enabled heroes will level this watchtower up way too high and then they will be unable to kill the nest of the void and get all those extra resources. So granted, we do get a lot more petals than we used to. We used to have a lot more islands out here, but now that we only have five maximum, it does make it a little easier and a little more forgiving. Another thing is when you are creating things on your island, make sure you level up these gem mineral shrines first. They are very, very great for resources. If you are early game, I would stay away from the dust ones completely. It is not something you are going to need if you are progressing slowly. This is great for whales and medium spenders. And then finally, the gold mines. Make sure you do not over level them. So... The new updates to Celestial Island, 
maximize the level to 60 on these. 40 was the old one. They mapped it out. If you upgrade from 40 to 60, it's going to take you over a year to actually just make the gold back that you invest into it. So if you're in it for the long run, it can be worth it. If not, like me, I don't think I'm going to upgrade it. But again, personal opinion, don't make these mistakes. The altar store comes in at number two. This can be very, very bad. As you can see, Barry did a lot of Barry things on his early game account. He has bought a lot of these, which were not worth it in the long run. You really want to save up your altar store currency for when a big, big hero hits it. Every time there is a heroic summoning event, we also have an altar store event. Like, for example, this week, we're going to have an Ada copy and a Delacium copy in this shop. Please do not do what Barry has done. I'm trying to share the wisdom. I know I've done this mistake, so I'm sure a lot of you guys out there are doing it as we speak right now. So learn from me, save up your altar currency, do not buy any other heroes from this store. Last and certainly not least, actually the exact opposite, the most important and biggest mistake I ever made on my Idle Heroes account is the Guild Coin Store. So a lot of people make this mistake. Barry made this mistake very, very early on. Do not make any purchases in this store ever at all. It is not worth it. You are going to waste so much progress on your account by doing what Barry has done right here and bought out a lot of things from this shop, especially these five stars. They are not worth it. Every single guild coin should go into guild tech. It will power up your heroes it helps you in every single part of the game you have to have to have to use every single guild coin in your guild tech especially since there is secondary guild tech as well so take it from me guys the worst thing you could ever do on a new idle heroes account is probably buy from this guild shop right here let me know what you guys think about this list. What other mistakes have you made in game? I know personally I fed off Ada copies early on. I've altered five star heroes as well. There's a bunch of other things you could do, but these I felt like are probably the most common ones that people make a mistake and do. So let me know what you guys think in the comments and I'll see you guys next time.